Welcome to the Miami Herald Business Show. I'm Nyla Boodoo. Nonprofits are increasingly turning to social media for fundraising. Last week, organizers of one effort to raise awareness about breast cancer, the Beat Cancer Campaign, on Facebook, Twitter, and blogs around the world, raised $70,000 in just 24 hours. Our local Make-A-Wish Foundation is also trying to use social media as an outreach. The nonprofit grants wishes to children who have life-threatening medical conditions. Last year, the local arm of the organization granted 479 wishes. And for the past six months, they've really focused their efforts on sites like Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube to publicize their mission. Richard Kelly is the Vice President and Chief Operating Officer of the Make-A-Wish Foundation of Southern Florida. Richard, thanks for joining me today. Thanks for having me. So do you feel like the recession has sort of uh, pushed you more towards being creative and using things like social media to get your message out? I think yeah, the recession has helped that, but uh, you know, we have a philosophy where we're, we're willing to try anything and um, anything to get our message out there. And we understand that the demographic and, and the way people get their news is not just by opening a newspaper or watching the TV, they get their news in many, many different ways. So we're going to deliver it in those ways. So you just set up a Facebook page a couple months ago. How, what have you learned from that and how has that gone? We've learned that people are interested in our mission, interested in our story, and they're interested in sharing it with other people, especially if they're intimately involved. So whether they're a donor, a volunteer, some other kind of supporter, wish parent, or the wish children themselves, they share the information. And uh, so we've learned that people do like when they are involved in a project, they do like to share. So have you found that any comments or other feedback you've gotten through social media has changed the way you all have done things? Well, we, we have a pretty structured way of doing a per, of performing our mission. Um, but in other ways of promoting our mission and some of the events that we have and some of the other ways that we fundraise, you know, we have learned some um, through social media outlets like Facebook and Twitter, uh, YouTube, and, and some of those other, uh, other outlets we've, we have learned quite a bit. So um, you basically you're using Facebook, you're using Twitter, you're using YouTube. Um, are you using it to fundraise or just to kind of promote the different wishes that you've granted for kids? Uh, initially, right out of the box, we just said we're going to use this as an, as an awareness piece. And if fundraising comes down the line or some other volunteer opportunities or anything else comes down the line, then great. But you know, we're, we're looking to share our story and share our mission. And if, if the fundraising and dollars comes, comes of it, then great. So what have, been, have there been any challenges to learning how to do this? Uh, it's just keeping up with the times because they, they just have, they change constantly and, and, and really looking for new ways of keeping up with it. Um, you know, just in the six months we've had a Facebook presence, uh, it has changed quite a bit. So we're just trying to keep up and, and keep up to date and keep monitoring. Do you have any advice for other nonprofits that might be venturing into this? I think it's just, just to establish a presence, get started, ask a lot of questions, try it out, and see what happens, and then, and then but really share the core of your mission, mission. And start out with people that are familiar with what you do, and then start branching out to people that may be unfamiliar but want to learn more. Great. That's great advice. Thanks so much. Thank you. That was the Make-A-Wish Foundation of Southern Florida's Richard Kelly. Kelly said the group has found individual contributions have risen over the past six months since they've created a social media presence. For more specifics on how he's doing it, check out my blog, Poked, that I write with technology reporter Bridget Carey. Thanks for watching. For the Miami Herald Business Show, I'm Nyla Boodoo.